organizations across Tucson are fighting against the clock for extra funding to keep their employees and programs running. Nine on your side's Alexa Liaco is live on the east side with how this minimum wage increase may hurt Tucson's most vulnerable families. Alexa. Pat health care services for the disabled, once provided by organizations like the Easter Seals Blake Foundation, may see huge cuts come the new year, and that means families with children or adults who need around-the-clock home staffing will not be able to find the caretakers that they need. Teresa Kellerman is one of those families. She has two adult children with developmental disabilities who both need 24-hour supervision. She says it's already hard to find good caretakers to stay long-term, but with cuts to programs and hours to make sure all workers are paid the new minimum wage. She says that she's scared she won't be able to get the care for her kids. I, I wonder how many agencies are going to have to fold, how many providers are going to have to fold because of this. Um, if they can't, they, they have to be able to provide the care to our kids that the state is obligated to provide and they're not able to, to provide that. Both Teresa Kellerman and the Easter Seals Blake Foundation say they do support the minimum wage increase, but the state needs to provide the funding so the programs and services are not cut to our most vulnerable. And now the incoming speaker of the Arizona House of Representatives says he is planning to file a lawsuit to block that minimum wage from taking effect January 1st. So today the governor and the Arizona Chamber of Commerce are meeting to discuss a plan moving forward. Live on the east side, Alexa Liaco, KGA 9 on your side.